Hi guys, it's Jessica with that hashtag newsfeed, and now that we are all rested from Comic Con, I'm here to bring you the news. So we finally got our first look at Oscar Isaac as Apocalypse, and he really does resemble the Power Rangers villain Ivan Ooze. Now in my personal opinion, I think they should have just stuck to the comics and kept him blue. Not making him purple, just a navy blue, royal blue would have been a lot better. Uh, we've seen a lot of cosplay characters out and about making their own version of Apocalypse, and they're awesome, don't get me wrong, but they're not very practical in terms of walking around and easy usage. So I get why they made Apocalypse the way they did, but if they just changed the color, it would have just been a little bit more badass. After the response that Deadpool got at Comic-Con, it makes perfect sense as to why Ryan Reynolds suggested Deadpool join the X-Force with Cable. Now, at first I thought that Ryan Reynolds was just trying to, you know, plant the seed that he was interested in continuing to play Deadpool and wanted to work with the franchise, but actually listening to him and his reasons why Deadpool and Cable would be such a good idea to continue with the X-Force made a lot of sense. So I have two words for you guys, uncanny X-Force. For all you Arrow fans out there, we have some big casting news. Echo Kellum was confirmed to be the new Mr. Terrific, and Alexander Calvert will be playing Anarchy. Now, I'm personally very excited to see these characters make the small screen, and I love fresh faces. New actors, keep it up. Okay, WWE fans, guess what? Adam Edge Copeland is going to be the new Adam Smasher in The Flash this season. Yeah! What you know about that? Makes sense. He was on The Haven, so sci-fi. Adam Smasher, Adam Copeland. Makes sense. All right, guys, the Attack on Titan sub trailer dropped and it looks legit. Kelly, Joe, and Roe already saw it. Kelly's gonna do a review on it for you guys, but in my personal opinion, haven't seen it yet, but I cannot wait. It looks so good. There's this part where one of the Titans, she's a female, she stands up and she's got this creepy grin going from ear to ear. It looks insane. I can't wait to see it, so check it out. Running on a sad note today, we are grieving the loss of Satoru Iwata, who was the former president of Nintendo, also known as the pioneer who saved Nintendo. He created the DS and the Wii, and I'm a personal huge fan of Nintendo, so his contributions will never be forgotten, and he passed away too soon. So thank you, Satoru, for all that you did for the world. Out this week, you guys, Epic Comic Cast has a brand new podcast all about your experiences in Comic-Con, so go check that out. We also have a new channel out. It's called Geek Hot Cosplay. It's everything hot in cosplay, and Alicia will be the host, so be sure to subscribe, like, and check that out. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Jessica with that hashtag news feed. Stay tuned. We have more Comic-Con videos coming, more anime videos coming, so be sure to subscribe, like, and stay tuned for everything trending in geek pop culture.